Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I am very God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. O God, strengthen those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. James. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes of the dispersion. Greetings. Consider it all joy, my brothers and sisters, when you encounter various trials. For as you know, the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And let perseverance be perfect, so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. But if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives all generously and ungrudgingly, and he will be given it. But he should ask in faith, not doubting. For the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed about like the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord, since he is a man of two minds, unstable in all his ways. <clears throat> the brother in lowly circumstances should take pride in high standing and the rich one in his lowliness. For he will pass away like the flower of the field. <clears throat> Excuse me. For the sun comes up with its scorching heat and dries up the grass. Its flower droops, and the beauty of its appearance vanishes. So will the rich person fade away in the midst of his pursuits. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm is from Psalm 119. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Before I was afflicted, I went astray. But now I hold to your promise. Be kind to me, Lord, and I will live. You are good and bountiful. Teach me your statutes. Be kind to me, Lord, and I will live. It's good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. Be kind to me, Lord, and I will live. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than a thousand of gold and silver pieces. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. I know, O Lord, that your ordinances are just, and in your faithfulness you have afflicted me. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Let your kindness comfort me according to your promise to your servants. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall serve you. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. 
began to argue with Jesus, seeking from him a sign from heaven to test him. He sighed from the depth of his spirit and said, Why does this generation seek a sign? Amen, I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. Then he left them, got into the boat again, and went off to the other shore. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice of your names, but the Lord is the glory of his name, for our good and for all the Holy Church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament. Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners, and he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he has announced to the world that you are our Father, and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and saints, we extol and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And a quote from St. Peter Julian on the Eucharist, he said, the Eucharist is the perfect expression of the love of Jesus Christ for humans, since it is the quintessence of all the mysteries of his life. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race, and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when his once for his disciples are now for us. He opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our, whom you led to the, his passion and death on the cross to the glory of his resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favour on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the pastoral sacrifice of Christ has been handed on to us, and granted by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and unto the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people who made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, inspiring us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace in unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Amen. Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to be the Lord of my birth. But I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As this reception of Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Go and make disciples. Thanks be to God.